morning guys welcome back to the channel Wednesday February the 10th and we got through at the header you saw it in the previous video and now I am gonna take loose uh, I gotta take loose of the header get it on the trailer and then we can put the header back in the barn and I got one more thing I can do to the combine before I put it back up in the shed is I can change the concaves out uh, they had soybeans in there because that's the last crop that we harvested so uh, I need to change those to wheat because the next crop will be wheat so let me get this header unhooked and then we'll get the concaves out so uh, hope y'all enjoy the video let's get something done Well, I got the header is unhooked. So now I'm gonna pull the combine over here to this other shed and I'll show you the concaves that we're gonna take out. These concaves are soybean. We gotta take that one out, these two bolts. They fit right in there and then get two right here. I'm gonna take these, those stay in there, but we put put the uh, the wheat wheat ones go in there and they're right here. Here's a wheat concaves. They got real thin bars, so that's why we're putting them in. It'll be two two lefts and two rights, and they'll replace these two right here. Sometimes I have to take like a uh, yeah. a punch, a punch, you know, to help prize it and line it up. Yeah, where the bolt goes. I had to scrub it good with a with like a hard paint scraper too, because the sticks had you know incinerated. Got in the middle, yeah, up right. in there, kind of hit it with the mouth. Okay, all right, I'll do it. All right, thanks. All right, made it back to the shop. I had to run to Selma for or something and uh, anyway PA was able to get the uh, concaves in and uh, so I'm gonna put my tools up and then Josh we pulled the combine up there and he just finished rinsing it off again it was a little on the dirty side I don't, it just wasn't washed properly the first time so he's finishing that up I'm gonna move that back into the shed and then we got a plan on what to do over there for the irrigations. We got some oil changes to do, which we'll be working on today.
got a few minutes in between jobs so I thought I would show y'all we had a lot of rain last night so I thought it was a good time we got good weather good sun got a few minutes to fly the drone I thought I would show y'all an aerial view of the ditches that we dug with the track hoe on previous videos if you haven't watched it you need to go back and watch them uh, so you'll know what we're talking about and that is why you need to subscribe so you won't miss these videos but anyway I'm gonna fly my drone and uh, I'll show you what it looks like from the air what we did uh, it's gonna be some water in the ditches, but uh, that means it's still draining. So uh, anyway, we'll get an idea from the air what, if we did a good job or if we need to do, do some more digging in other places. So let's fly the drone. I forgot one more thing that I wanted that I want to do on the combine uh, before I forget last year when we bought this combine we had to uh, on my corn head it's got guidance on the corn head the gearing half it's called true sight and it's got two little 
basically wands or fingers or whatever you want to call them and they guide in between the two cornrows and that is what guides the the uh the gps on the combine um golly well i gotta go around hold on Okay, where was I? The corn head, guidance, true sight. Anyway, we had to install something on the new combine to make it work. Well, when we installed it, this cover right here, there's a pin. I'll put that right there. Um, there is a box under here. There's a box under here where, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but the main brains, the circuit board of the guidance part of that true sight is under this. And this cover does not shut properly because of all the wires. And So anyway, long story short, I am going to take that out and I may have to mount it on top. Drill holes, zip tie it on top, and that way this cover will shut good but um it was driving me crazy all last year this cover would kind of rattle okay here is the true sight box that controls all the guidance for my gearing head gearing hoff corn head this is it right here and i've got to do something with all these wires or I can fit that cover back on there and then I think I'm going to have this just sitting on top of the cover and I can secure it down because it's not enough it's not enough room to have this sitting on top of all these controllers and then the cover sit on top of it it's just it won't go down far enough to reach these little screw gosh these places where you screw it in there's not a lot of room right here let me tell you um so i think i may have to like cut like some of the cut like maybe a corner out of this plastic right here and have that bundle of wires wiring harness kind of come out of the cover right here and then then able to fit it on top so that's the plan can't go like it is there's not enough room uh, to make it work so let me see what I can do I got it. Uh, wasn't too hard. Um, basically, I had to cut, as you saw right here, where this wire. Had to, had to cut a little hole right there for the wire to stick through.
guys that is it for the video thanks for watching and i will catch you on the next one see ya